So today I want to tell you about if DoorDash made me a uh, hundred percent on my acceptance rating like they offered me. I did a video a couple of days ago where I talked about the fact that DoorDash sent me an email and they said that if I answered a couple of questions and I went out there and accepted an order that they would raise my stats from um, where they were currently and give me a hundred percent on my acceptance rating. My name is John McFall and I want to welcome you to the McFall RI channel where I teach you how to make $25 to $30 an hour doing food delivery. In today's video, I want to talk to you about my day yesterday. I went out for just a short time. I was scheduled from 5.30 p.m. until 7 p.m. because I wanted to go out there and see if DoorDash would give me a 100% acceptance rating like they said they would in the um, email that they sent me here it is again but i wanted to see if they would actually increase my acceptance rating to 100 percent like they said that they would i'd also like to ask you to like this video and to subscribe to my channel before i go into my day uh, last night, my little shift that I did, I wanted to talk to you about the ratings because I've seen a lot of comments on uh, different uh, videos that have been put out about top dashing that people don't understand why they go out and do 14 or 16 or 20 deliveries and their stats have only gone up a couple of points, maybe, you know, two points or one point. And why is it that if you go out there and do that many deliveries, that your stats don't raise up that quickly. The reason this is, is because the way the ratings work is the ratings are based on your last 100 deliveries. Um, the, the numbers reflect what you've done over the course of that 100 deliveries. So let's take a look at my stats here. On my completion rating, I have a 90% completion rating. This means out of the last 100 deliveries that I've accepted on DoorDash, I've completed 90 of those deliveries. So last night I went out and took three orders. I picked them up, I dropped them off, I completed them all, and my 90% completion rating did not move. Why does this happen? You are judged on the last 100 deliveries that you do for DoorDash, and each time you actually do something to improve that number, Number, you know, let's say you add one delivery to that completion rating, that goes at the beginning of the hundred. So what happens is, is whatever is at the end of the hundred or the hundredth one, let's say that that one was a, a order that you picked up and you completed, so that one falls off. So basically what I'm trying to say is you added a completion rating uh, improvement here, but what fell off was also a good completion rating. In other words, you did the, the order here, but you also did the order here, so that falls off. What that means is that you um, are not going to see a change on that completion rating. If your your bad completion rating, it, you know, maybe the last one that was bad was at number 80, it's going to take you 21 deliveries before that one falls off and gets replaced by the one that you completed on this end. So it might take you a, a lot of deliveries before you're going to start to see that number change. So I was scheduled from 5.30 p.m. until uh, 7 o'clock p.m. through the dinner rush last night, and I actually got on at 5.42 p.m., and it said that I was getting high priority status on DoorDash last night. I don't know why I hadn't done anything at all to improve my rate. But if you take a look at my stats here, you're going to see that my acceptance rating was 35% before I started this shift. This is what the number was when I turned on DoorDash and I looked at my ratings. This is what that uh, number was. It was 35%. And based on the email that DoorDash sent me, they said I had to take one delivery and that uh, they would increase my um acceptance rating up to 100%. So I started headed to my marketplace. I arrived to the um, only hot spot that we have in um, Auburn and I went right into the center of it and you can see at the time here it was 552 so I 
you know, sat down in, in a parking lot and, and, and waited for the orders to come in. I knew that the DoorDash orders were coming in because I saw this person go in and then they came out and they had a door or DoorDash order in their hand and they had parked behind me so I kind of knew that they were a food delivery person but I knew that the orders uh, were coming in on DoorDash, but I hadn't seen any yet. I continued to wait because it was the last day of the month. I couldn't just leave. I had to get at least one order completed so I could raise up my acceptance rating. And at 6.04 p.m., I finally got my first order. Remember, I started my, my dash at 5.42. And Auburn, I don't work Auburn typically between about the middle of May until about the middle of September because it just slows down that much. It's a very small town, 15,000 people, so the orders just don't come in. Um, but I just needed to get one order, so I figured I'd just run into um, Auburn, which is a few minutes away compared to Fort Wayne that's 15 minutes away, just so I could go get that one order done. When it came across the screen, I kind of knew that I was going to get the order that they sent me. It was a total of $3.73 for a total miles of 4.9. So I went ahead and accepted it because as I told you in the last videos that I put out, I'm going to accept every order until I get top dasher. So this is what I did. A couple of videos ago, I talked to you about the different uh, ratings and, and where I was on the ratings and I told you what I was going to do to improve them. For my um, customer satisfaction rating, um, which is at a 4.85 right now, I wanted to improve that customer satisfaction rating. So the way that I do this and the way that it's worked for me in the past is I actually send the um, uh, text messages to the customer so that they can um, see me actually trying to interact with them so it makes the, the whole thing a little bit more personal. I know there's a lot of people out there that say you know you don't have to text the customer because the apps let them know where you are and texting the customer unless there's an issue is not a good thing but I'm telling you based on my personal experience that the times that I've done this the customers have been very appreciative. I've never had a negative comment. So here's the first one that I sent and basically saying, hey, this is John with DoorDash. I'm at the restaurant to pick up your order. And then the next one is um, uh, just a quick text that says, hey, I put your food in the hot bag. This shows customer service and I'm on the way to deliver your order. I immediately sent the next one, which says, you know, I really appreciate your tip. And if you don't mind, leave me a high rating. One thing about these two texts when I'm leaving, I don't hit confirm on the order until after I've sent these texts. So my messages actually get to the customers before the app informs them that I've picked up the order. So I headed to the customer's house and dropped off their order. Um, as you can see, it actually ended up being $3.73, which means DoorDash paid me $2.73 because the customer left only a dollar tip. And lo and behold, when that happened, I opened up my ratings to see they, where they were, and DoorDash put me at 100% on my um, acceptance rating with that one dash. I got about three quarters of the way back to my hot spot from that delivery and it took me that long before I get my next um, order request but the good thing about it because I thought I would be out here just getting crappy orders all night they actually sent me this one for 625 going um, 2.3 miles and if you notice it does say that um, this is a high pay order so I immediately qualified for a quote unquote high pay order on DoorDash as soon as my stat went up to 100%. I'm not a top dasher yet because it takes um, until the first or the second of the following month with your ratings to get on to top dasher. So I just I just happen to have a really good customer satisfaction rating along with a 100% acceptance rating now so they sent me this one. I went and had and picked it up from Little Caesars and then I dropped it off and it was um, 
625 just like they said. I got all the way back to the hot spot. Obviously, I wasn't too far away because it was only a 2.3 mile order, so I had to drive back a mile to get back to my hot spot. But DoorDash then sends me another one that is $6.25 for 2.7 miles picking up a Cracker Barrel. Now, notice on this one, it does say that the um, total will be higher. It doesn't say it might be higher. It says that it will be higher. And I went and picked that order up from Cracker Barrel. I dropped it off at the customer. It was a hand it to me, so I didn't take a picture of that actual drop off. But um, I went and dropped that order off, and um, that order ended up being a total of eight seventy five for uh, two point uh, seven miles. So this was a really good one. So I talk to you a lot in my videos about Auburn um, because this is one of my regular marketplaces that I work in the, the, the cooler seasons. And in this marketplace, it is very typical to see $5 to $7 orders. That's kind of what the good orders are in this marketplace. They do come to you and, and, and most of them are anywhere from a half a mile to about three miles. So five to seven dollars is adequate for this small marketplace and um, I ended up getting you know a really crappy one to begin with then I got an average one and then after the payout um, of 875 on that last one that's a premium order in Auburn so I ended my my shift at eighteen dollars and seventy three cents with those three deliveries that I took and um, I ended up working actively for 47 minutes and I was on my dash for a total of an hour and 24 minutes. Most of that time, as I said at the beginning of the video, was um, because I didn't get my first order for actually about 25 minutes um, when I got on the app. So it took me a long time before I got my first one. But um, after that, you know, I ended up getting three in a row and it carried me in into the seven o'clock hour when I um, was done with my shift. So this was my first shift going for Top Dasher. I got my acceptance rating up to 100%, and I expect by tomorrow I'm actually going to be a Top Dasher on the platform. I am going to go out tonight, and I'm going to go out there and just accept every order until I know that I'm a top dasher, but I kind of want to see what DoorDash is going to do for me tonight in Auburn, because although that first order was really, really uh, crappy, and I normally would have declined that immediately, the other two orders I took were really good orders for that marketplace tomorrow night, which is Friday night. I'm going to go work in Fort Wayne, so I'll let you guys know what happens when I go out and do that. I want to remind you that down here in my description, I have some great tools for you. The one I'm starting to use today is my metric spreadsheet, and I'm going to use it to keep track of my dollars per hour, dollars per mile, and my um, average per order. I'm going to throw it up here so you guys can check it out. If you look at the left hand side, you'll see I always put my start time and my end time. This gives me the total time that I've worked. I also put in the miles. If you head to the right, then you'll see for each individual app, I put the dollars that I've made, the time that I worked along with the number of deliveries. Head to the bottom then and you'll see it calculates out what your average dollar per hour, dollar per mile, and your average per order. If you want to check this spreadsheet out yourself, there is a link in my description. It is a free download for you great people that come here and watch my videos. I'd also like to ask you to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Finally, I want to say I hope that you are out there getting the money that you and your family deserve. And with that, I want to say thanks.